I'm Jennifer Angel, these are your staffs for June Pisces. Now, your home environment is very much highlighted this month. There's so much activity sitting in there. It's like your solar fourth house. It's all about family, home. Some of you might be thinking of packing up and moving. Others will be dealing with some family issues. So um, you want to be careful that if you're, you know, sorting advice from someone or in the other hand if someone is like trying to give you advice then you know really keep in mind that you know not everything everybody says is going to be relevant and just because somebody gives you advice and we're still talking about this whole you know home environment there because mercury the communication planet is involved doesn't mean to say that you have to take them up certainly listen but you know just because somebody imparts knowledge uh, or tells you what they think you should be doing it doesn't mean to say you have to go ahead and do it but do be careful with Venus still there in a retrograde position so just out of phase just be careful that you don't enter up into any power plays and sometimes you know to avoid getting mixed up in sort of like a a, a power play situation is best to just walk away you know I mean it just smile and say that's nice I'll take it under consideration and you know then of course you walk away and do what what's right for you as you should do now let's have a look at your career and money now there's an eclipse full moon on the fourth sitting right there in your solar tenth house of this is all to do with business and your career so uh, you know and full moon energy and you throw in an eclipse added energy there it's like bang it's like you can give the catalyst like just a shift things and this is what you need at the moment Pisces because you know there's been quite a lot of creative activity as always happening in your star chart I mean you're creative anyway is what I mean but there's been quite a lot of creative um, activity sitting there in your star chart and so this eclipse new moon just gives it the uh, a catalyst for something to happen for things to finally just come into place like all the jigsaw puzzles sort of you know comes together so this is really great news but of course there's always a little bit of compromise to have you know to do along the way and of course as I've always say situations are full of support and challenge okay so keep that in mind but overall it does look favorable now let's have a look at or better than favorable positive let's have a look at your love and romance now so your ruling planet neptune in your sign is retrograde now neptune is you know very inspirational intuitive also romantic um, now this happens on the fifth of this month so you're going to have romance on your mind at some level or not so try not to make any you know rash decisions sit back think about them because you also have mars in your seventh in your um, seventh house on the fifth which it's sitting in your seventh house of love and partnerships and on the fifth it like gives you a challenging aspect to venus so once again try not to hand over the keys to your heart or make any rash decisions until you're really really sure and as a Pisces you, you do that anyway because you like to you know get in and analyze how things are going to work for you and that's what you should be doing at the moment you don't also don't want to make any assumptions for, on, for other people and make decisions for other people's behalf okay so um, keep that in mind as well when Venus is retrograde bottom line is make allowances for you and for others okay now your lucky numbers for the month are 4 5 10 19 and 25 and I put your most dynamic day down is June the 25th and this is when Saturn goes direct and it's very good for business matters and official matters for you okay good things coming up Pisces it's all very very exciting I'm Jennifer Angel have a great month thanks for watching